It's your boy Josh with the Prize Productions back in Unreal Engine 4 with an 18th blueprinting tutorial. We're going to talk about camera shakes, guys, because apparently some people don't know what they are or how to use them, and we got to know how to do that. And it's very simple, but I'll show you a couple other neat tricks along the way. So if I have F11 Alt P, I got my first person character in here all hot and sexy on this big flat plane. I'll tell you why, because we want to see how effective this camera shake really is. I'm going to show you we need this first person character inside the DP folder, and that's the character I'm using. You can do whatever you want. I really don't care. Right click blueprint you got the actor you got the pawn you got all these ones wrong you go down this little era era all classes type in the word camera shake you have to spell it right it's very important because if you don't you will not find it camera shake it's its own blueprint select it boom rename it cs because that's how i do it i'm done now the thing is that is a camera shake blueprint and cs stands for something else maybe now if i double click on cs it looks like a standard blueprint stop just close it, just, just close it, reopen it, boom, this is what you want. And all this stuff will be closed kind of like this, that's fine. Now, if you click on this little link, it'll put you back into the other blueprint style, but don't do it. D don't do it. Just leave everything where you're at. You're fine. This is all you need. Now, the thing about this is it's got a couple things at the top that are very important. The duration, how long this camera shake is going to last. And zero isn't very long. In fact, it's not long at all. But if you set it to negative one, it'll do it forever. So that's what we want to do. I don't want to have a blend time. I don't want it to blend in or out. I want it to just be hot and heavy, jump in there. But you can set a blend time if it's two seconds long, whatever. Let's go down to the rot, okay? Because you got to get rot. Or, or, or something. But anyway, the point is you got pitch, yaw, and roll. And if you don't know, that's X, Y, and Z on your rotation, on the road for the rotation. We're going to set all these to two, okay? I'm going to set them all to two just to kind of get a feel of what we're doing, okay? That's what I'm talking about. And that's where we're going to start. We got a we got a camera shake that lasts forever, and it's the amplitude and the frequency of every rotation possibility is set to two. And we'll come back and toy with that in a minute. It's already in our second window because UE4 know how we do, karma. But anyway, the point is, now I'm going to double-click on my first-person character. UE4 knows. You see what he did there? You see what he did? And now, basically, we need to make it work. So we need to drag this bad baby in here. So let's, let's, let's talk about a couple different ways we can apply a camera shake. We're going to set it up to where if I'm moving... The, the, the camera is shaking. So we need an event tick, right, bro? We need that We need that event tick. Can't be afraid of it. Now, you may not know what your velocity is. You can go to your camera movement and go through your walk speed and your velocity, but here's another way to do it. Just type in the word get velocity, bro, because that's what you need. All you got to do is type in what you need, and Unreal will give it to you. They're not afraid to give it to you. But you don't want three values. We only want one. You can drag a line off that and type in the word length, okay? You'll see vector length. Now we just have one number, and we can do a print string, right? Type in print string. And, and, and again, I know we've talked about this before. But you got you got actually, you have to you have to, you have to spell it right. It's just one of those things. And you'll get better at it, you know what I'm saying? And, and so will I, maybe. The point is, I got everything plugged up here. I'm basically printing my vector length, my velocity. So what I can do now is compile and save and go back out, F11, Alt-P, and you'll see it, event tech, baby, all day, not scared, 60 billion frames a second. Flying down them zeros, zeros, because I'm not moving, but if I am moving, and I know it's hard to see on this plane, and now I'm starting to double, double, uh, 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 second guess myself, that was a good idea or not. But the point is, it's up to 600, right? 600, that's what we're looking at. 600 is a pretty good velocity, Well, we know that's the velocity when I'm moving. So we need to make sure it's over that. We'll go ahead and actually keep that plugged in for debugging purposes. But what we really need is to grab this and get it Hey, let's make sure it's greater than, right? Let's make sure it's greater than 450, you know? And we, and we know, oh, God. Oh, God, that wasn't 450. And we know that it's going to be over 450. So that just means if we're moving for now. We can type in the word if, and it'll automatically make a branch for us, bro, because we need one of those. So we just got the print string in there for debugging purposes. You can take it out. It's really good. It's very helpful if you know what you're doing with it. But the point is, let's skip that and say if our velocity is over 450, well, then let's play our uh, let's play our camera shake. What we need to do is you need to get player controller, not player character, because I know we do that a lot. You need to get the controller. And you can actually type in client, okay? And you got to spell it right, bro. You got to spell it right, and you get a client play camera shake. And it's all big, man. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why it's so big, but it's big, okay? So we're going we're gonna to plug it into true, right? Now here, wait, 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 just think about it. What are we doing here? Oh, we don't even have the right one. That says client play camera anim. That's the problem, bro. We messed up. Try it again. Client play camera shake. You see it right here. Client play camera shake. That's not as big. I, I, I'm okay with that, I guess. It's asking for a shake. You know what I'm talking about? Grab the CS, drag it in there. Boom. It's scale. You can rescale it, but we'll leave it at one. But we got one problem with what we're doing. I want to talk to you about that. The event tick is going to be constantly calling the, clam the, the camera shake, but it's already set 
to be doing itself on its own. So that's that you're, you, you don't want to be constantly calling a camera shake. It's not necessary. So we're going to drag it back. I want you to type in the word, two words, do once. And what you got right there, but you got a do once node, okay? It's only going to do that once now, bro. And then it's going to stop, okay? But the problem, but the thing is, you can reset it whenever you want. We'll talk about that in a minute, okay? Let's basically just make sure now that this thing, it fires one time, one time, my God, when we play the game, if I'm moving. Nothing's happening. I start moving, and now I'm not moving. And you can see that the camera's kind of getting a little wonky. Okay, I'm not really 100% sure what I think about that. It's making me a little dizzy. I'm going to go back to the CS, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the frequency of these up to 10. Let's see what that does, right? Let's see what it does together. Let's put the 10s in there and don't be afraid. Let's go in here and start moving. Okay, that's 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 kind of, that, that's, that's a little better. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit, this is my, this is my values. And we're just kind of doing this as we go along. 1.5 and 25 all day, every day. I'm going to do it three ways. I'm going to do it four ways. I don't care. Now we got everything set up the way we want it. If I'm correct, I'm going to kind of like it. It's going to be a little more flimsy, but it's going to be a little faster. Oh God. Yes. But the problem is if I stop moving, it's still shaking. We got we to gotta put it into that, bro. I'm going to show you how. You can grab this same. You can get the player controller again, copy and paste it over here if you want to. And you can type in the word stop because you want it to stop. And you want it to stop that camera shake, bro, but you're going to have to tell it which one. Make sure CS is selected. Press the little arrow. Boom. Cool. You're like, all right, awesome. Well, well, we can, if it's false, basically, if we stop moving, we can tell it to stop, right? The problem is we have that do once node. So it's not going to do this again, bro, unless we reset it after we stop it. Oh, you see what I did there? I got a little start stop, and then I got the do once getting reset, and then we'll go back into it now. Okay, so we got we got the debugging on the left here. I am pointing at the screen again. It says zero. Now as I start moving, we're shaking. But if I stop, it stops. Nice. If we get moving. Oh, don't be afraid. I'm I'm a little dizzy. And then we stop. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. That 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 that, that that's it. That, 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 it was pretty simple, right? We set up a quick camera shake. That cam that, that that shakes when you're moving. But we don't have to worry about it constantly calling it a billion times. That event tick isn't calling the, the camera shake 60 times a second. It'll call it one time via the do once node, and then it will stop one time, but reset the do once node if it stops. And again, you know, there may you may need some uh, more coding to make that the way you need it to go. But And, you know, like I said, you got your the way we found the uh, velocity. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple. We took the vector link and... Uh, Get, did, the, uh, did the print string, bro, go to the character movement if you want. And you can probably just go down to your walking and go to max walk speed. And that'll probably be equal to that. For instance, if we set it to 800, right? I'm going to set that 800 right now. It should probably go up to 800. Oh, ho, ho, see, it is. Now, the camera shake isn't going any faster. It's still the same. The point is my move speed is my, my move speed. My velocity is higher based off of that walk speed. But that's only because I'm using one of their character movement components inside of a character blueprint. But anyway, that's another story. Guys, thanks for watching. You got some camera shakes real quick. It may be simple to a lot of you, but I noticed a lot of people really don't understand how to use them. And I probably should have covered them months ago. So here we go. Camera shakes all day. Easy. You can do it. Don't be afraid. Plug one in. Or you could, like I said, you don't have to set them up like this, man. Go here. Set it to be like um, a five-second one. You know, something explodes, and it kind of goes crazy, and it blends out over three seconds. Whatever you want, man. Just have some fun with it. Walk around, shake a little bit, get dizzy, don't be scared, get drunk. Now, the thing is, I hope you guys learned a couple things regardless of how simple this was. But we're about to jump deep and dark into the Minecraft series. we got a lot of stuff to learn on there. So I'll see you guys soon. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, Deprived Productions. Go hit Facebook, Deprived Productions. Our second EP by Deprived just released on Bandcamp. Cyclops to go hit it up or buy the first one. They're $3. It's freaking awesome. All the music's on SoundCloud. If you want to just stream it for free, we don't care, man. Just rock it. It don't matter, okay? But guys, thanks a million. Love you. Miss you. Minecraft, big time coming up. Just letting you know, all kind of UE4 Minecraft stuff coming in the future. We'll do a little bit of everything, but that's going to be a main focus. Just letting you guys know. Until then.